Go copy to Six King Wavy Merch. Link is down in the description below. Click the link. It's going to take you over to the website. Use discount code 360JUICE26 for 26% off your brushes and do-rags. And for your hair care products, use discount code 360JUICE2020 to get 10% off. Stay wavy, Juice Mafia. God bless. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy, 360Juice. And I'm back with another video for you guys. As you guys can see in the title, you already know what this video is gonna be about. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to get better connections and add depth to your waves. All right, we're not gonna do a lot of talking, so without further ado, let's get right into video. What happened? They ain't sick of me rapping. They know that I'm never lacking. You ain't never gotta ask me. I'm gonna do what I gotta do for the fam. I'm gonna make it happen. Was on the way out, but I'm backing. Need a new bank account with the cash in it. Hey. So, so let's talk about the definition part. How you add more depth into your 360 waves, 540, 720s. So first thing you want to do is you want to wolf. All right. So when you wolf your hair out, um, it's just, you know, you wolf your hair out, use a harder brush. It goes down deep into the scalp, comb your hair out. You know, just all of that, that's going to add more definition, more depth into your waves. And that's how, you know, your waves get deeper and darker and stuff like that. It gets darker because, um, as you grow, as you go <clears throat> along in a moisturizing process, the type of moisturizer you use will, you know, change your hair texture and stuff like that. I say this all the time, so you guys already know the type of moisturizer you use will change your hair, your hair texture along the way. But when it comes to connections, guys, you guys have to vertical brush. You guys have to brush with a mirror. All right, so brushing with a mirror, all it does is it reassures that you are brushing your waves in the right direction and that will bring great connections so along with the wolf they're going to add more definition uh, because when you when you're wolfing you use a hard brush then when you use a mirror that's going to bring the the connections you feel me so when uh when you're doing a mirror you can actually see what you're doing and you're like oh maybe i shouldn't brush this way maybe i should brush this way because it will connect better now if you're just blonde brushing it's going to be fork city in your head all right so you need a mirror at all times when you're brushing all right, and also you need to know your eight angles, you feel me? If you're doing 360, you need to know your eight angles. If you're doing 540s, you need to know your angles for that. If you're doing 720s, you need to know your angles for that. So obviously, you have to study your pattern before you actually really put in the brushwork. So yeah, that's basically it. And then um, when it comes to connections, you know, like I said, with the mirror, and also another thing that helps with great connections is after you get a fresh cut. Obviously, I don't have a fresh cut right now, so I can't really show you guys what I mean by that. I'm just going to explain it to you guys. When you get a fresh cut, that's the best time to, you know, move your hair around, okay? Um, after a fresh cut, that's when you should really be putting in the brushwork. Because when your hair is is at a 1.5, it's easier to move. So that's the best time to break forks. That's the best time to, to, to make your waves wider. That's the best time to, to you know move that that way from there to here to get that that connection that you wanted and that's the best time to shift and that's why a lot of people scalp and they want to switch their patterns because when your hair is that low that's when it's easier to move your uh, your hair around fix the connections then you go into another wolf session and then and that's when your your wave is going to get deeper and that connection is going to show you more because it's so deep and you cut it down again and boom perfect 360 waves and that process you have to repeat over and over again 
in order to become elite and have flawless 360 waist. But since I don't have a fresh cut to show you guys what I mean, I'm going to use a video from 360 Jeezy's channel. He made this video a while ago, you know, I used to watch 360 Jeezy a lot in order for my waist to be the way they are. And then everything else was just, you know, part of my knowledge and how to get waist and stuff like that. And I'm trying to give that to you guys. But I'm going to be using 360 Jeezy's video for educational purposes only so you guys can know what I'm talking about so I can help you guys out better, all right? When I have a fresh cut, then maybe I won't have to use this video, but since I don't, I'm don't, i wolfing right now, I'm gonna have to use 360 Jeezy's video to show you guys what I'm talking about. So, go. I'm gonna play it. YouTube, when it comes to getting dope connections, you guys wanna make sure that you will. I know you guys were noticing that I was, you know, having a lot of hair on my head during the summer. And it's like, man, why is Jeezy having all this hair on his head? It's because I was wolfing, trying to better my connection, and it's also a way to create depth in your ways, all right? Once you grow your hair out, you know, you put them deep waves, then you cut it down to a, a, a two, or in, in my case, a 1.5. It just makes your, your waves that much more crisp, all right? What you don't want to do is cut it too low, all right? If you have... Exactly, guys. So, um, like I always tell you guys, my coarse hair weavers, 1.5 is good enough for you. 1.5 guard open is also good. If you're a medium waver, um, 1.5 will probably be too low because you guys have different hair textures. So my medium waiver is probably like a 2 or a 2.5 and up. 2 and up, not a 1.5. If you get a 1.5 and you're not as elite yet, then you know you probably lose progress. But if your, your waves are really trained and you know what you're doing, then okay, you could do it. But for all my beginner waivers that's medium here, 2.5 and up or 2 and up for my course here waivers, 1.5 and up. All right have my texture make sure you tell your barber to cut it down to a two um the reason why i say two is exactly. to keep it a little thick so that you'll you know you don't lose definition in my case i could go down to this 1.5 because my hair is so so trained that you know i won't lose progress so what you guys want to do after you basically uh got that cut you want to go on a massive brush session you want to basically brush like you've never brushed before mm -hmm. all right the time that you put in uh, I've experienced it guys. When I cut my hair down to 1.5, use a medium brush, you're gonna get the most progress. All right, but when it comes to um, the lay down process, it's a little hard because your hair's gonna be frizzy most of the time at a 1.5, um, or that grooming process. So what you're gonna need to do to keep your hair laid in that, in that time stage is to double compress. All right, double compression is gonna help that lay down process better. Um, brushing your hair while you was wolfing it should be double that when you cut it down because what you're doing is stretching your waves out and you see how my the you need to use a hard enough brush to actually pull your hair all right and also vertical brushing like I, I tell you guys a lot vertical brushing goes a long way when it comes to breaking forks moving your hair doing this doing that so vertical brushing um, and just using the mirror and also medium brush don't you saw brushes only to lay, the, lay your hair down and add shine it doesn't really help you progress, you feel me? So medium hair, uh, medium brush is gonna be helpful in this stage. Rolls are so even, that's what it does on a low cut. You're stretching your waves out so that each roll can be smooth, all right? You want a smooth transition in each one of your waves and brushing on a fresh cut does that for you. So anytime you get a fresh cut, that's when that's that's when you start brushing the most. Yeah, man, so that, that kind of like sums up everything I just said to you guys and it was a, a better example because Jeezy just got a fresh cut and he actually showed you guys you know because you guys learn better when you see stuff so yeah as soon as I get this fresh cut you guys already know I have a, a, a fork that I'm trying to break on this side right here so this fork right here is causing this fork because I'm actually trying to move this whole side right here and yeah it's taking a long time you know but you know you gotta be patient and trust the process so what I do with that uh, I'm gonna let you guys know how I like break my forks in a different video. So videos coming up on how to break forks, you know, and it works really, really well. Cause you guys, as you guys can see, my waves did get a little better. Um, yeah, the fork is is slowly fading away, and I just gotta keep my foot on the pedal, and soon it'll be gone. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Um, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, comment. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button for your boy. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.